Hey guys, welcome back to Topics Weekly. We are back for another week of SEC football predictions. Uh, we are here with week 10, uh, and we're going to start off the week uh, by Saturday game at 11 a.m. on the SEC Network. 5-3 uh, and three, Texas A&M versus 3-4 and four, University of Texas at San Antonio. Who do you got? Definitely A&M. Big. Big. Mm -hmm. Okay. Definitely a <laughs> field goal. My field goal. <laughs> mm, close game. Really close game. Te big. Texas A&M is a 38-point favorite. Yeah, so. I'm picking Texas A&M yeah. to win big. Yeah, it's we're all in agreement here. Texas A&M. All right. Up next, a 3 p.m. game on the SEC Network is three and five Mississippi State. Versus two and six Arkansas. Um, I won't. I'm gonna pick Arkansas. I think really? they're gonna get their first SEC win in mm -hmm. like 13 games. Yeah, since I'll probably last year. Win. Yeah, actually before last year. Was it before that? Yeah. Oh yeah, because they played 80. Yeah, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So, Arkansas. Shocker. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna pick Mississippi State. They're actually only like a three point favorite. It's. Who is Mississippi State? They're only a three-point favorite. Yep. Hmm. Or I could be wrong. I don't know what it looks I'm like. still gonna pick Mississippi State. <coughs> it's it's Arkansas. It's Arkansas. it's Arkansas. I'm going Mississippi State as well. Uh, Arkansas got creamed by Alabama mm -hmm. last week. Uh, Just for the Ar fun of it, because Ar really Arkansas that. is not that good of a team. They're not. So I'll go Mississippi State. All right, up next, 6 p.m. game on ESPN is 3-5 and five Ole Miss versus 6-2 and two Auburn, who just lost a very close game to LSU. They only dropped two in the AP poll. So, who you got? Oh, not Ole Miss, Auburn. <laughs> <laughs> the defense is playing really stout. So. Yes. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with Auburn by two, three touchdowns. Two, three touchdowns. Easy Auburn. Easy Auburn? Yeah, easy. Auburn played extremely well against probably in the top three offenses in the nation. Yeah. They played extremely well. Uh, I'm, In my opinion, in the end, their, their offense just couldn't move the ball enough yeah. nope. to score enough points. LSU was going to score points. It was just going to happen. I mean, defense can bear the brunt of the weight. Yeah. But you can't make your defense do all of it. Yeah, you have to be able to score points, and they held them to a lot less points than I thought they. They held them to twenty three points. Yeah, that's that's more that's, than any that's other team. That's good defense. Yeah, so definitely Auburn. Definitely Auburn. I agree as well. All right, up next is another six p.m. game on ESPN U. It is six and one UAB versus three and five Tennessee. Who I think I'm going to go with Tennessee on this one, coming off of a very convincing win against South Carolina. Um, they've been playing pretty good, pretty well as of late, so um, I think I'm going to go with Tennessee over UAB. Yeah, I'm going to pick Tennessee too. There actually seems to something be clicking and yeah. clicking now. Not that they've, they've seemed to be got like a good rhythm or whatever, so yeah, I'm going to pick Tennessee. I'm picking Tennessee, but it is going to be a very close game. I can see that. UAB is a very good football team. They're 6-1. and one. They're a very, very good football team. So, Tennessee, but in a close one, is my mm -hmm. opinion. Okay. All right, up next is a 6.30 p.m. game <clears throat> on the SEC Network. You have 2-5 and five Vanderbilt versus 3-5 and five South Carolina. Vanderbilt's so bad. As well as South Carolina. They're not that good either, but um, I'm going to go with South Carolina. I'm going to go with South Carolina. Vanderbilt's not even, like, in the back of my mind. They're yeah. just like, it's, it's like Arkansas. is that even a team? Yeah. <laughs> so it's Arkansas. It's like the, the Arkansas and Vanderbilt are the two worst teams in yeah. the SEC. So definitely South Carolina. South Carolina. I'm picking South Carolina as well. South Carolina is a lot better than their three and five record suggests. Mm -hmm. They're a lot better team than what their record is. So I I'm, mean, their last game wouldn't show that. But. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm def definitely South Carolina over Vanderbilt. All right. The last SEC game 
of this week, uh, we saved the biggest for the last, is the 2.30 p.m. game on CBS. Number eight, uh, Georgia, who is six and one, versus number six, Florida, who is seven and one. Who you got? I'm going with Florida and a close one. Um, ever, probably the first couple of weeks, or first two or three weeks, they were kind of rocky, Florida was. But they have played very well, played very well as of late, and Georgia has been kind of rocky. So, and I picked Florida to win the East in the first place. So, I'm going to go with Florida and a close one. Florida and a close. Florida's one. been very, very solid lately. Yeah. And right. the atmosphere is like very. I don't have a lot of confidence in Georgia right now, so I will go. I'll put Florida over Georgia. Ten points. Ten that's points. that's probably the most that I would put them over. It's still a good game. It's still a close game. But. According to ESPN, Georgia is a five and a half point favorite. Yeah. Uh, I don't think that Florida's offense is, or that Georgia's offense is good enough to keep up with Florida's offense. So um, I will pick Florida. I think it's definitely a very close game. That game is always one of the most physical and one of the most emotional yeah. games in the yeah. SEC. Uh, very, very emotional game. Uh, Georgia could win that game. I don't think they will. I think Florida will. Yeah. So that's who I've got. I mean, the numbers for Kyle Trash and Jake Fromm are there's not a huge difference between yards. No. They're touchdowns, very, very similar. Touchdowns, Kyle Trash has five more interceptions. Trash has one more, but all three of Joe Burrow's, I mean, Jake Fromm's, came in the uh, South Carolina game, yeah. and two of those were on the receivers. Um, they are pretty tight and pretty much everything. I mean, well, the running game's a little different, but um, yeah. for the most part, they're pretty close to each other. So, but Florida, I get I just the edge to Florida, just the way they've been playing. Lately. Yeah. Georgia, and whenever they play South Carolina, they just played very, very sloppy. It was just, yeah. it was not good. And, and I think that one problem with Georgia is that they play too conservatively. Yeah. Yeah, I would agree. They, they, need, they need to open up and be willing to take more shots down. The yeah, they don't pass the ball enough. All they do is run the ball. Yeah. They rely on their offensive line too much yeah. to open up holes. Yep. Well, that is it for the SEC predictions. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you give it a like. Uh, comment if you want to comment. Uh, make sure you subscribe. If you do subscribe, make sure you hit the bell to get notified whenever we do upload. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Peace. Thank you.